Hello, William here. This is episode two of Getting Started on the Cajon. In the previous episode, we went over a bass and snare. And now we're going to talk about a higher pitch or just really a different tone in the snare. And we're going to do this first by explaining the note and then showing an exercise to enforce the ability of getting around and playing on this note. So that note will basically, before we were talking about a snare coming straight up from where your bass is and playing right here in the center. Now we're going to slide over to the very tip of the, the, the left and right corners of the drum, the cajon, okay? And we're going to play those. Now, I have mine tight, pretty tight screws on here. Depending on the way your cajon is constructed, you can loosen these screws on the end, and that will change your note so that the wood slaps against the cabinet. The top of the, the face of the, the cajon will slap against the cabinet, causing making a different sound. But you'll notice that this sound is a lot different than this sound. So if I play the bass snare and then move out and play these, this is what it would sound like. Okay, so an exercise to develop this will sound like this, and I'm going to start my metronome again, and I'm going to play bass, bass, snare, snare, just like the other one, but then I'm going to move over and play snare, snare. So just like before, right, left, right, left, but now we're adding another right, left on the outside. So we're moving from in to out. Four. Bass, bass, snare, 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 snare. Bass, bass, snare, 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 snare. Right on the metronome on each, each pulse there. Okay? Now, I'll do this a little faster, double time, so you can hear the difference and the feel of what's happening here. Two, ready, go. Bass, bass, snare. I'm adjusting even as I go. You can hear different sounds. I'm going to play with my fingertips on the corners. Two, three, four. Bass, bass, snare, snare, tip, tip, bass, bass, snare, snare, tip, tip, bass, bass, snare, snare, tip, tip. Okay? Now, first, I suggest that you just start off really slow like we did at first. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing mostly my second, my middle finger here, okay? The long finger and, and also the ring finger as well, but mainly that long finger and just on the fingertips, the very tips on the outside. Now, it's a great stroke for, let's say you're playing in the beginning of a song, okay? And as you get started, in the beginning, you might be playing a bass, but the snare, you don't want it as loud or as full, as low, as study of a snare. So it's just a little lighter, okay? So we're gonna practice just playing that stroke. Bass, bass, snare, snare so now we're practicing all of these tones and moving around on the drum but we're also practicing getting this tone right making sure it's much different than this now how much farther i come in towards the center you'll find it'll be a fuller thuddier sound okay all right right in the center being my fullest, thickest sound. And I can still get a snap if I go lower. But let's just keep it right on the tips. Again, that exercise goes just like this. Two, three, four. Right, right, low, snare, snare, high, high, tip, tip. Okay, it's a great way to get started with that practicing incorporating these notes right on here. Now, in the next episode, we'll talk about basic 
rock beat and some basic exercises to start playing and understanding grooves, taking these notes and applying them within a musical context. See you then.